Well, it's one of the oldest operating mills in the country. But to get that distinction, the Faribault Woolen Mill Company has had to overcome adversity and make a comeback of its own. In tonight's Finding Minnesota, WCCO's John Lortzen shows us how the business and the town are woven together. In Faribault, the Cannon River rushes by. As it does, it goes shoulder to shoulder with one of the most iconic buildings in southern Minnesota. It's from here that you get a glimpse into a whole new world. This is the beginning of yarn. That's correct. This is started at the back end of the machine with the raw wool. It's now come through and this is roving, just about to be yarn. Once it's twisted, it's yarn and it's ready to go to weaving. Some of the machines the woolen mill uses today are a hundred years old or more. So they took it from the end of the Civil War to the Great Depression, through world wars, and then all the different economic cycles. Business here began at the end of the Civil War. A cabinet maker from Germany named Karl Klemmer bought a one horse treadmill carding machine to make quilts. The horse that walked on that treadmill was named Jenny, and this is the harness that Jenny wore. Step by step, Karl and Jenny grew this homespun business. One of their first clients was the U.S. military. Since then, the mill has made more than a million foot soldier blankets. And they say that during the World Wars, the odds were a soldier carried a blanket made in this very mill. But during the recession in 2009, the company fell on hard times. It closed, and its historic building was almost demolished. Longtime employees were suddenly out of work. That's when Chuck Moody and his cousin saw an opportunity to buy and resurrect the mill with a made in America approach. The employees that came back here allowed us to restart this business. Without them, it doesn't happen. And the, the pride that they had to, to be here um, made the difference. A pride that they wear well. This is our fastest new product introduction ever. We sold more of these in the first week than any product we've ever introduced before. It's fantastic design. There's a lot of symbolism in here, Lakota symbolism. It's really very cool. A company that specializes in keeping people warm had a record year during the pandemic, allowing them to add 20 more jobs and 100 new products. There's nothing better than a great blanket around your shoulders when you're socializing outdoors. They're products that really appeal to people's connection to Minnesota. And through a history of spinning, twisting, and weaving, the woolen mill has become the fabric a fair boat. There was a great love. Uh, we, we had a lot of goodwill behind us. In Faribault, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. In addition to the Faribault location, the company has stores in Chicago and Minneapolis and will open another one in Excelsior this spring. If you'd like to tour the 156 year old mill, you will find prices and a way to make reservations at WCCO.com links.